Hi, everybody. I am so glad to be at WLJC. And I want to tell you, if you are not a regular listener, please turn your television to this station and just leave it there. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. But get, make sure that you call your friends, your neighbors. Who knows what you can't get them to do. Maybe they can listen and they'll learn what God can do for them just by listening to this station. Thank you. This station's been on for 48 years and 31 with the television, and it's going to keep on going with your prayers and gifts. God bless you. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight from the WLJC studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. We hope that you have your work caught up, your company's either settled down with you or gone home so that you can uh, watch the program and pray with us for the service. We have a group here from Tennessee tonight and uh, Dottie has phone operators. and So we are going to do our best to lift up the name of Jesus and he's made us a promise that when we lift him up then he'll draw people to himself you know it doesn't do us any good to try to get people draw people to us because we we do not have any power to do anything for them when when uh, they should get there but Jesus does and he said he would draw people to himself when his name is lifted up and that's what we try to do uh, seven days a week here at WLJC. Our call letter stands for Wonderful Lord Jesus Christ. And so that's who we try to do our best to proclaim that He is our Lord. He is our King. He's everything to us. He's our Savior. He's the one that we go to for help. And He's the one that answers prayer and uh, heals and delivers and sets free. And so tonight we welcome each of you to the service we, we thank you for the ones of you that pray for the service. We know many of you pray. Many of you tell us that we uh, that you uh, pray for us and that you watch every uh, night and day. And uh, so for those of you that we haven't got to meet, well, we just want to say a special hello to and encourage you to keep watching. And you will have singers on that you will like from one time or another. We have different singers all the time. And, but I appreciate those good old seasoned saints that's out there that is really backing us for the services. And so, uh, so for all of the uh, people that uh, we met today at, uh, at a wedding, we had a beautiful wedding today up at Crypton, Kentucky. And so uh, for all those friendly folk, we want to say hello. And we know some of them have joined us for the service tonight. All right, we want to share some scripture. This, like we often say, it's for those that could not read today for yourself. You were too sick or just didn't have the opportunity. But some scriptures tonight that will help us as Christians. It's talking about the, <clears throat> the whole armor of God. You know, we're in a battle, a fierce battle sometimes. Because we have an enemy that hates us because he hates God. And anything he can do to us... That would get back, <clears throat> that would cause grief to the father. Well, he does it, but you know that's that's what he's here. Uh, he kills, steals, and destroys. And any time that you hear something bad happening, you know that the the devil did that, not God. God doesn't do bad things. So if you're blaming God for something in of a drastic nature, just reconsider because it was not God. All right, we want to go to Ephesians, the sixth chapter, starting with the 10th verse, talking about the whole armor of God. 
Now, He's prepared us. He's equipped us. If we take on the, uh, the armor that He has provided for us, uh, He has made us more than conquerors through Him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against all the wiles of the devil. <clears throat> for, he, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all, stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication, supplication for all saints. That's Ephesians six ten through 18, telling us how to be prepared for this battle that we're in. But, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that in other scriptures he says that we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And we have, if you've been saved, you have the Holy Spirit living within you. And so he will give us the strength that we need. But we've got to do our part. And so you read that, uh, the scripture tonight and study it and, and do what it says. And then you will come through your next big trial fine. All right. We're going to pray and, and get these singers uh, started because they've driven a long way. And there's a, a, a lot of songs to be heard tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the scripture. We thank you for the plan of salvation. We thank you, Lord, for how that you have arranged for us to have victory in the midst of trouble. You have arranged for us to have victory, and, and we know it all comes through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for that tonight, Lord. We thank you for victory. We thank you that you see us through all the trials in our life, and you will give us peace if our mind is stayed on you. But, Lord, that's our problem is to letting our minds wander onto things that's eating up our peace and our joy. So tonight, Father, we ask for deliverance for those that need it, those that are feeling uh, uh, about uh, their self-conscious, they're feeling so absorbed in the hurts and ache, uh, things that's come their way that they have gotten severely depressed. We come against those spirits uh, and we ask you, Father, to deliver them and set them free to be able to sing and to talk and to do what they can. And Lord, wherever they have joined us tonight, we know uh, that if they're feeling all bound down, it's not you, but it's the enemy. So help them to break free and come out victoriously. So Lord, we ask you to bless our guests and anoint them and bless the phone operators and Father, we want to do the best we can for you tonight because we can't redo tonight. And so give us victory, give us souls for our labor. In <coughs> Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we're happy to have a group with us from down around the Knoxville, Tennessee area. And these are the Good News Gospel Singers. And uh, they do have CDs for sale. They have a phone number, 865 494 seven zero eight eight and they're from the freeway church of god so right now let's uh, welcome the good news gospel singers well hello everybody and i want to say a few things before we get started if that's okay first of all i'd like to thank sister margaret wljc and everybody that works here for being so kind to us and so nice and for letting us come back and uh to be able to let it, for letting us come and spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, to so many people that are out there listening tonight. And uh, I've, I wrote down a bunch of um, dedications that I wanted to dedicate to people, but I tell you, there are just so many 
that I would absolutely leave some people out if, if I started doing that. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that tonight. I just want to dedicate it to everyone that's listening, especially the sick and shut in, the ones that are in the hospitals, the ones that's in the nursing homes, and people that are at home and, and are not able to get out and go to church. We're here to minister to you tonight. And we ask you all that you all just get right in with us at your home and sing along with us, praise the Lord with us, whatever you feel like doing. And you know, that this is all about our Lord that came so many years ago. And you know, he, he, he stayed upon this earth for 33 years. And you know, they took him and, and they beat him and they, they whipped him. He, he took stripes for our healings and uh, just, you know, so many things they did to him. And they, they nailed him to a cross and uh, they throwed him in that old grave, you know, that tomb, and, and they thought they had done away with him. But lo and behold, on that third day, he arose just like he said he would. And I'm so glad he did. And, and you know, he didn't have to do that for us. The Bible says he could have called 10,000 angels to come and take him down off that cross. And, you know, he, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane and prayed, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. But I think some of the most important words he ever said was, but not my will, but thine be done. He did all this because he loved us. I'm going to ask Ronnie to start us off with this song, Because He Loved Me. On a hill called Calvary, Jesus my Lord suffered for me. Carried the cross all the way My sins to atone Then they carried him away Placed him in a lonely grave Surely they thought that this would be The end of his man Because you loved me on a cross he was crucified No greater love by mortal man Has ever been known Oh praise the dear name he loves me so Now I am his, he's mine I know He suffered it all He suffered it all Because he loved me Then they carried him away yes. Placed him in a lonely grave Surely they thought that this would be The end of this man But on that third and glorious day God came and rolled the stone away He rose from the dead He rose from the dead because he loves me, because he loves me, because he loved me, my Savior died on the cross. He was crucified. No greater love by mortal man has ever been known. Has ever been known. Oh, praise the dear name, he loves me so. Now I am his. He's mine. He suffered it all. He suffered it all. Because he loves me. Because he loves me. He suffered it all. He suffered it all. Because he loves me. Because he loves me. Oh, yeah, he suffered it all because he loved us. You know, I've been blessed already here tonight hearing so many that have had cancer and have been healed by the Lord. Even cancer can't keep us down when the Lord steps in. He can heal tonight. And I want you to know if you're out there and you're sick and you're shut in, he loves you and he still heals. Brother Ronnie, tell them about your uh, cancer um, there. 
uh, I had cancer in 1988, and uh, they told me that they'd have to operate, and I said, well, I figured then I didn't have too much of a chance, but God came in, and he gave me a bigger chance, that he showed enough love for me, just like that song we just got through singing, that uh, he touched me and healed me, and uh, I didn't have to have no chemotherapy or nothing, that he just touched me and I didn't have to have any of it. I praise him and I honor him for everything that he's done in my life. Yes. And I love him. Yes. And I know if you're out there, he's a healer. And I know he can heal. Yes. Because he did it for me. Yes, we're going to have some more testimonies here a little bit later about concerning um, cancer and healings. And I tell you what, I, I just thank the Lord tonight because he is so real. And uh, most of all, I want to thank him for saving my soul so many years ago and uh, keeping his hand upon me through the years. Yes. They're going to sing a song now, Help is on the Way. Amen. Earl Cox. A woman in the Bible days, her last meal's almost gone. God sent and just to make his word his known. He said, woman, don't you worry, for God sent me today. And before you even ask me, help is on the way. Just hold on a little longer, help is on the way. A brighter day's coming for those who believe and pray. It won't help tomorrow if you give up today. Just hold on a little longer. Help is on the way. Troubles life come by and burdens get you down. Oh yeah. You think no one's a listen. Yeah. You think no one's around. Just remember what he said. Trust him and obey. Keep your eyes towards the heaven, cause help is on the way. Just hold on a little longer, help is on the way. A brighter day is coming for those who believe and pray. It won't help tomorrow if you give up today. Just hold on a little longer, cause help is on the way. Just hold on a little longer, help is on the way. is on the way. It's good to know that, ain't it? The Lord uh, may be getting ready just tonight to reach you down and pull you, reach down and pull you out of the situation that you're in. Guys, what are you going to sing next? So much. So much to thank Him for. Don't we have so much to thank the Lord for? We really do. You know, we do get sick and stuff, but you know, if we've been saved and that precious blood has been Applied to our lives, we are blessed. Listen to the words of this. 
When I look, I look around and see the good things, good things He does for me. I know, I know, I'm unworthy of them all. For He blessing, His blessing, He freely gives. I owe my life to Him. I've so much. To thank him for Yes, I've got so much to thank him for Oh, so much to praise him for You see, you see He has been so good to me And when I think I think of why Who thank him for sometimes, sometimes, oh, I long. to thank him for. I tell you what, that song never gets old to me because I feel like I have so, I don't know, just so much to thank him for. Uh, I'd like to introduce the group. Uh, the guys that were going to come with me uh, didn't get to come tonight and uh, so I got with these uh, good friends and uh, they said they'd come up and help us play and over to the far right here is Brother Ronnie Tatum. And uh, right here is Earl Cox. And I'm going to get in real bad trouble on these two back here, I think, because I can't think of his name. On the, Ed Bell playing the lead guitar and uh, John Hale playing bass. And they do a real good job. And uh, just thank them so much for jumping in to help us out tonight. Okay, what do you got, guys? You too, Kenny. You're oh, yeah, I'm, my name is Kenny Calton, by the way, in case you don't know. And, you know, I do want to mention just a couple of people. Uh, they were my second mom and dad over at Hazel Green. Uh, uh, the Morrises over there, uh, I stayed in a dormitory for four years, and they took care of me just like I was their kid. And they're listening tonight, and I've got cousins listening down in Sarasota, Florida, and hope and pray that uh, uh, Cheryl and Debbie and Aunt America, uh, you're getting a blessing out of this. Guys, what do you got? Great old Stephen was accused. Lonely and bewilling, 
no one that day would stand by his side. So I just looked like old Stephen's oh, yeah. to the riding of my father, and he rode me over the time. And I never said a prayer. That he could not answer, and I'd never shed a tear. That he could not dry. And when the waves of life are so high that you can't mount them, I know he rolled me over the time. And when the world is closing in and life becomes a burden, then I want to run. But there's no place to hide. So I just look like old Stevens to the right hand of my father and he rode me over the time and I never said a prayer but he could not answer and I never said a tear but he could not dry and when the waves of the land are so high you can't help them. I know he rode me over the time. I know he rode me over the time. Oh, yeah, he's a big God. Never said a prayer that he couldn't answer, never shed a tear that he couldn't dry. My goodness, I thank him tonight for all that he's done for me. Um, I think the next song they're going to sing is My Home. It's a long and dusty road that my feet they are traveling on and sometimes all oh, the clouds are dark and low oh but i've got i've got to keep the faith and hope and see for where For my home is just around the bend And I think about it now and then Reunion by the billions everywhere But the one that I so long to see Is the one who blame Passing through on a temporary. 
temporary stay But I'm looking forward to the time when all of heaven It will be mine, I watch and pray Or it could be just any day For my home is just around the bend I think about it now and then Reunion by the millions everywhere But the one that I so long to see Is the one who blame and I The place I long to be For my home is just around the bend And I think about it now and then Reunion by the millions everywhere One that I so long to see. I think about the gates of pearl and I think about the walls of jasper, how beautiful Amen. heaven must be. But I also think about forever being in the presence of the Lord and being able to feel his presence where there be no more sorrow, no more sickness, no more dying, no more crying, Amen. no more pain for any of us to bear. And you know, I believe the day is coming and is really close by that the Lord is getting ready to split that eastern sky. There's just too much going on around this world right now. I'm telling you what, how he has not come back already, I don't know. But uh, I'll tell you, I believe his time is coming. What you guys got? That's a light guiding me. Amen. I've talked to my Lord many nights by my bedside. I asked his for forgiveness as I kneeled to pray. And if I could repay, I'd be only and willing. For he died on the cross, just save me from sin. There's a light guide in me. I can see heaven's glory oh, yeah. And he holds me instead of his way and his love He's guiding me through temptation and evil There's light guiding me to that heavenly shore To the far distant shore Many friends has come before me They're singing the victory Of God love I know His valley through death Will be guided by Jesus All up yonder, I pray you be there. There's a light guiding me. I can see heaven's glory. And it holds me instead of his way and his love. It's guiding me through temptation and evil. 
There's a light guiding me to that heavenly shore. That heavenly shore. There's a light guiding me to that heavenly shore. That heavenly shore. Praise the Lord. I hope you enjoyed that good old song. That's a, one of the oldies, but a goodies. So, light guiding me. Okay. This song is called Roll the Stone, I mean, excuse me, yeah, it's Roll the Stone Away. Come and listen to my story, I've all seen Christ did stroke, how an angel came from gold, and he rolled, yes, he rolled it stone away. The stone away. He rolled the stone away. That stone away. He rolled the stone away. That stone away. The stone away. For an angel said, He's alive, not dead. And he rolled. Yes, he rolled that stone away. The stone away. Mary mine. The lean was weeping when she saw where Jesus lay. For she thought her Lord was sleeping, but that stone, yes, the stone would roll away. He rolled the stone away. Stone away. That stone away. He rolled the stone away. That stone away. Stone away. Stone away. For that angel said, He's alive, not dead, and he rolled. Yes, he rolled the stone away. The stone On that third and appointed morning, she just prayed from that old grave. Death and hell could not hold him, but that stone, that, that stone was rolled away. Was rolled away. He rolled the stone away. That stone away. He rolled the stone away. That stone away. The stone away. For that. Angel said he's alive, not dead, and he rolled. Yes, he rolled that stone away. The stone away. He rolled the stone away. That stone away. He rolled the stone away. That stone away. Stone away. For an angel said he's alive, not dead, and he rolled. Yes, he rolled. I'm so glad that he rolled that stone away. Amen. And he came out there on that third day just like he said he would. Yeah. If he hadn't done that, he wouldn't have been who he said he was. Yeah. But my goodness, he was gone. Amen. And I'm so glad. Amen. Okay. All right, let's get to court D, boys. We do this right here. Trials here sometimes are many. And sometimes my feet grow weary. Till it seems I fall most stumble and I fall. But a tender hand that leads me, it's that hand that leads me steady. And by faith I know I make it after all. After all, his life is over, and their burdens have been lifted. When I stand upon that mountain, I'm so tall. Looking over in that city, at the Savior is repairing. Give me faith that I can make it after all.
By myself I cannot make it But I know He's there to help me oh, yeah. He will hear my cry if only I will call Just keep trusting and believing That's the words I hear in whisper Just a few more days to labor After all After all this life is over And their burdens have been lifted when I stand upon the mountain, I'm so tall. Looking over in the city, at the Savior is repairing. Give me faith that I can make it after all. Give me faith that I can make it after all. Amen. Would you please? Sing your best angel for my mama. I don't want her to make this journey all alone. Would you sing the same one you said for her daddy uh, to make sure? That my mama makes it home And when it's time for you to call my mama oh, Would you please take special care with her She has suffered so much here on this earth. Will you please sing your best angel for my mama? I don't want her to make this journey all alone. Would you? The same one you sent for daddy uh, To make sure that my mama makes it home Well, I know she'll be a perfect angel, for she has been a perfect mama to me. And when it's time for me to come and join me, the Lord just sing that same angel for me. Would you please sing your best angel for my mom? I don't want her to make this journey all alone. Would you the same one you said for daddy 
but to make sure that my mama makes it home. But to make sure that my mama makes it home. She makes it All right, thank you for all those songs, especially that one. Uh, I was just thinking Amanda Sexton from over at London, she wrote that song, and uh, uh, now she's kind of bedfaced, and she uh, gets to hear a lot of people sing her songs. She's written a lot of songs, and so that uh, is one of her favorites. All right, you've been listening to the Good News Gospel Singers from down in the Knoxville area, and uh, we have... Uh, uh, we're going to give them just a little break, and then they have some more uh, folk with them that's going to come and sing and uh, uh, give testimonies and so forth. But now they have CDs for sale, and this number, be sure and uh, write it down, 865-494-7088. And uh, they'll, be, they'll be glad to hear from you when they get home. But right now, uh, well, let's share, you know, we was, before service, we always have prayer and we always uh, kind of disengage from everything we've done today and so um, get our mind on the service and, and we was praising, uh, praying and everybody was telling us about uh, uh, so many people have had cancer or heart attacks or whatever in this group tonight and uh, so we were just talking about how blessed we are to even be here. Well, there's a Jessica from Pikeville, Kentucky, wanted to call, and, and she didn't hear our conversation, but she wanted to thank the Lord for all of his blessings. And so that's what uh, uh, we are doing here, is to thank him for his blessings. And then also, we have some really encouraging news. This will uh, cheer everyone up. Uh, Sue Ann has called tonight, and she's rededicated her life to the Lord. And so there is... A good salvation report. Also, there's another man that has called that has given his heart and life to the Lord tonight. So that is that is wonderful. That's what we're here for. So get point you to the one that can really help you. You know, we are willing. We would love to help people, but our strength is kind of weak as human beings. But, but the Lord, of course, he can do it all. Well, we are getting ready for the second part of this singing group. They've, uh, uh, and there's a couple of young young people, th uh, there are four of them, and they're just all uh, ready to sing and uh, be a blessing and more testimonies coming up. That's what we like. Now they can inter uh, introduce themselves if they, uh, if they would like or if someone else wants to introduce them, that'll be fine. But uh, uh, we want to hear some good, some good uh, testimonies and songs. And uh, we've been blessed to hear the testimonies here in the studio. All right, we're going to uh, uh, go right back over because these folk have driven a long way from down in Knoxville, uh, Tennessee area to be with us tonight. And so... Uh, they're going to, this is the second, uh, second half of them. There's a good, good representation came tonight. All right, let's hear the second group. Well, it's, it's good to have uh, uh, so many different singers to come be with us tonight. Um, I'm going to have to reintroduce again. Uh, at my far right is my wife, Mary. Um, next to her is Sister Kim Lindsay. This big tall guy standing here beside of her, I finally got him to smile. <laughs> and I got his sister to smile also. Uh, his name is Noah Gasway. He's my grandson. He's 15 years old. Uh, this is my granddaughter, Madison. She is uh, 13 years old. Back here playing bass this time will be Brother Ron's, Roscoe Lindsay. Uh, that'd be Kim's dad. And we're going to we're going to have them give their testimonies there in just a minute. The Lord is, like I said earlier, is still able to heal. But I want to start off with this song tonight because about 17 years ago, uh, I had been brought up in church, you know, and I had really got away from the Lord and 
hadn't been hadn't been going to church and stuff for like 13 years, and uh, I was in a mobile home in Harlan, Kentucky, and the Lord came looking for me that night. I believe that with all my heart. Reached down His hand and touched me in a mighty, mighty way, and I gave my life over totally to Him at that time. And I tell you what. It's been a good life. It hasn't been a bed of roses at all time. But I thank him so much for reaching down and touching me that night. The title of this song is He Came Looking for Me in the Key of Elf, guys. One night while on life's raging sea It looked like I would suffer defeat Through blackness of night I saw no light my heart sank in fear My desperate cry rang out in fright But all I could see was no hope inside With faith all but gone I met the one who came looking for me He came looking for me He came looking for me He came looking for me, he came looking for me. Oh yeah, yes he made a way when there was no way that I might see. I drifted so far, but Jesus was near, rescued my soul, he calms all my fears. Now I'm safe from harm, since I met the one who came looking for me. Oh, Satan had already picked out my grave. He had planned to move forward and put me away. I drifted so far. Would anyone care that I'd soon be lost? Oh, but listen to this. I knew my destruction was a matter of time. But Jesus said, no, this old boy's mine. Now I'm safe from harm. I met the one who came looking for me. He 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 came looking for me. Yes, he made a way when there was no way that I might see. That I might see. I drifted so far, but Jesus was near. Rescue my soul, he comes on my feet. Now I'm safe from harm, since I met the one who came looking for me. He 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 came looking for me. Yes, he made a way when there was no way that I might see. I drifted so far, but Jesus was near. Rescued my soul, he comes on my fears. Now I'm safe from harm, since I met the one who came looking for me. He came looking for me. Yes, I'm safe from harm, since I met the one who came looking for me. He came looking for me. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yeah, I'm glad he came looking for me. Well, I tell you what, that ought to do something for each and every one of us that's been saved out there because the Lord, he comes looking for you, and he, he sends that conviction down upon you, and he draws you in with his spirit. I'm going to ask Madison now to lead us in a song, and uh, I believe the title of it is Your Cry Have Woken the Master. Uh, Jesus and the disciples were out on the sea one night, and it came a great storm upon him and he was asleep in the stern just listen to the words crossing the calm seas with Jesus the disciples were getting concerned the wind started violently blowing but he was a We're helpless and we're so afraid. But 
Thank you for that good song. Your cry will awaken the master. I'm going to ask Sister Kim now to sing a song for us. The title of his home has never looked so good to me. And Kim, I wish you would just uh, give your testimony there, if you would, about your cancer situation. I'm telling you what, the Lord is a healer. She is cancer-free. But go ahead, Sister Kim. Uh, last year, around July, I was diagnosed with stage 3 aggressive breast cancer. And I had to have about five months of chemo. It was really hard on me. And they done my surgery. And like they done a surgery on a Wednesday. The next Wednesday, I was sitting in church. I wouldn't go to church for nothing. And they thought I was going to have to have surgery again. And I had the church to pray for me. And, and I went back to the doctor. And I said, I'm going to have to have surgery again. She said, no. I said, that's because the great physician done touched me. Yes. And I just thank God for what he's done for me and what he's brought me through. Thank you, most God, for saving me. If anybody's out there tonight going through any situation, you don't have to be cancer, it could be anything. Just just turn to God. He'll help you through anything. Yes. It don't matter what it is. Yes. Just put your trust in Him and have faith, and He'll bring you through anything. Because That's right. He's brought me and my family through so much, I can't thank Him enough for it. Yes. So just remember, everybody out there, remember me and my family when you pray, that I just keep doing better, and my family does, and we just love everybody out there tonight. All the cancer treatments that Kim went through and all the surgery, she might have missed five nights church. I'm telling you, she came right on no matter what. She wouldn't miss church, but that was by the help of the Lord that she was able to do that. Kim sang that good song for us. I have a good life here below, and the Lord has blessed me so, oh, but sometimes I just want to go home. Friends and family I have here. Sometimes I just want to go home. Home has never looked so good to me. Tears are gone, spirits they are free. I find that I'm almost falling. I 
turning back I just got to make it home There's a Savior I want to see Oh yeah. I'm going to thank Him for all He's done for yes. me You know sometimes I just want to go home Golden streets are clear as crystal That my feet are longing to walk on You know sometimes I just want to go home Home has never looked so good to me no turning back we've just got to make it home I'd like to mention that Kim's mother is in the with us here tonight and uh, she's a little camera shy but she is a three-time cancer survivor by the help of the Lord only was she able to come through that my goodness we serve a great God and he is like I keep saying he is still able to heal you out there today yes. don't give up hope keep praying your cry will um, wake the master yeah like the song says I'm going to ask Madison to lead us again in another song I think the title of this one might be He Walked on the Water I'm not sure what the title really is it's a beautiful song Kia B listen to the words As I kneel in the darkness in the middle of the night I'm praying for assurance everything Oh, to the wind. 
searched until I found you and I do it all again. Oh yeah, he searched until he found us. I'm going to ask Roscoe, if he would, to come up and, and give his testimony about the heart attacks that he's had. This is lifting up the Lord. These testimonies lift up the Lord just as much as the singing does. It's praising him, giving him credit for all that he has done for us. And Brother Roscoe, just tell him about your situation there. We're trying to show you that the Lord still heals. Amen. God does still touch. God does still heal tonight. Back in 2012, I had a major heart attack when I was on a job, and it took me to the emergency room, and I was laying there in the bed. I had a nurse on this side and a nurse on this side. <clears throat> Excuse me, they were working on me, and I started going out, and there was a lady come in and took my hand and knelt down beside my bed and said, Roscoe, I'm going to pray for you. I said, okay, and I... I started going out, and I began to see a beautiful, beautiful light. And God began to talk to me, and he said, I'm going to let you go. He said, your work is not done yet. you got a lot of work to do. You know, I thank God for that today, for bringing me through that heart attack. I thank God for my daughter, everything he's done for her and my wife. I thank God for everything today. I, I told the sis I didn't know if I could uh, uh, testify or not, you know. Uh, when I begin to feel God's spirit and his presence, you know, I just want to tell the world how awesome God is, children, today. Uh, how he's brought me and my family through so many things. Uh, and how in the past several months God has blessed us so much, sister, beyond measure. Uh, God's real today. He's still saving today. Uh, and he wants to touch your life and touch your heart tonight. Yes. Uh, and if you don't know Jesus in the free pardon of sin... Uh, Take this opportunity tonight to turn to yes, him. Yes, amen. He's there. He's waiting. All you got to do is ask tonight, and you'll receive God's saving grace. You know, God said, he said, I'll never leave you, and I'll never forsake you. Since he said, I'll go all the way, even to the very end. Yes. God will go with you all the way home one day after right. a while. Uh, you know, I just praise him. I can't praise him enough uh, for what he's done for me tonight, children. But listen, if you need God, you're the most important person that may be listening to this broadcast yes, tonight. Amen. And we're going to be much in prayer that if you're listening tonight and you're lost, we're going to pray that God will send that convicting spirit upon yes, your heart. Amen. It's good to be in God's house. Yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Wonderful testimony. God stepped in again. I'm going to ask Madison to lead us in a song. I think the title of this one is just plain blessed. When he walks among us with all that he does, all of his mercy and all of his love, a pen of a writer can write everything, even his words could never contain, oh I have been Yeah. 
I've been blessed. I'm going to ask Kim now if she'll come back and sing a song, one of the most beautiful written songs I've ever heard. And I think the title of it, is it just the rose? Uh, the rose. Listen to the words. Is that Kia? Kia C. There stands a rose out in your garden. You lay He will never fade away. 
We're going to try to sing one more song now and uh, hope and pray it's a blessing to everybody. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. And the one that called in that said you'd rededicated your heart to the Lord, I want you to know that's worth the trip up here right there. Anybody that's been touched tonight, we, that's why we came. We didn't come to try to put on a show, but we just come to do a work for the Lord. Is this road? You're traveling Dark Discouraged Or dim Is there hope For tomorrow Just put Your trust In him And on That glory road I'm traveling Many times I stumble on my way But praise the Lord I'll soon be leaving For that land of perfect peace And endless day Oh, I can see the lights of home Oh, I can see Him on His throne well, I'm too near to turn back now. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm heaven bound. And when my journey here shall end, I'll say goodbye to this world of sin. In that fair land, I'll take my stand. I'll take my stand. Good to be on, on the road to glory land. Yes, now I can see the lights of lights of Oh, I can see. I can see him on his throne. On his throne. Well, I'm too near, I'm too near to turn back. To Oh, praise the, Lord. praise the Lord, I'm heaven bound, I'm heaven bound. and when my journey here shall end, I'll say goodbye, say goodbye to this world of sin, world of sin. in that fair land, I'll take my stand, good to be on, on the road, road to That fair land, I'll take my stand. Good to be on the road to glory land. All right, we'd like to say thanks to the Good News Gospel Singers from down in the Knoxville, Tennessee area that has come to be with us tonight. Remember, they do have CDs for sale. Call them at 865-494-7088. And they will uh, sell you their CDs and tell you where they're going to be singing. Well, uh, we've had uh, uh, one lady dedicated her life, to, uh, rededicated her life to the Lord, and another man had accepted Jesus as his personal Savior. And... Uh, and then there's a lady from Pikeville that is called a couple of times, and she is just real uh, appreciative of what uh, people have done for uh, some members of her family. And uh, so uh, it's good to be thankful, isn't it? All right, from Powell County, um, Edna is 90 years of age, and she has kidney problems, but she enjoyed the program to tonight and the whole daughter of uh, the whole family needs uh, prayer here's one from knox county for a son to get off of drugs um, from montgomery county for martha having eye surgery um, wants god to take care of it and if we are dedicated to him he is going to take care of us it doesn't say he's not going to let us have any problems but he will take care of us charlie from london heart surgery and Russell from Frankfurt has cancer, and uh, he he wants oh he's free of cancer that's what it is Russell.
from Frankfurt is free of cancer, and he's saying, praise the Lord. And this uh, one is from Mount Sterling for Wayne, needs a touch from the Lord, has a lot of health problems. Brother Alfred from Pike County needs a healing from the Lord. And here's uh, from Perry County, a lady, husband, and stepdaughter. Uh, they all need prayer. The husband has been in the hospital. A grandmother has called for her grandson, Patrick, that has just gone to the National Guards on June the 1st. Uh, here's someone that's called for their mother, Betty, that's in uh, the hospital tonight and really needs a touch. Phyllis uh, from Powell County has called for Rocky having lick, uh, liver problems and is going to UK for treatment. From Floyd County, Betty uh, needs help from the Lord, enjoyed the singings tonight, and she's going to the hospital on Tuesday for surgery. Shirley from Pulaski County, uh, it's for a brother that has brain cancer, and uh, she says that the doctor in heaven, which is God, is the healer. There's nothing our God cannot do. Shirley is believing God for a miracle for her brother. Uh, that's what we have to do, is stand in for those that are not able to pray for themselves right now. From Knox County, Tammy uh, needs help from the Lord tonight. Whitley County, uh, someone uh, needing its family problems, and only the Lord can fix it. Is Loudon from Jasmine County is going to uh, uh, keep... Uh, working uh, for Jesus and she wants him to heal her. And another call here just says that they enjoyed the program tonight and the music. And so that's what we like to hear is those that uh, really need, uh, that have received some help. And we do have uh, some more here and uh, we uh, uh, we want to share these for one reason and that is to have there's a lot of uh, prayer partners to, of WLJC's big radio TV family, and they pray with us when we share these. And so here is a daughter from Mount Sterling uh, that the mom's calling in for. A Goldie and Earl from Mount Sterling needs uh, prayers. Um, this one is from Morgan County, needs a touch from the Lord. From Clay County, Phyllis is uh, waiting for the Lord to heal her. From Breathitt County, James, Johnny, Mary, and Lonnie, they're all sick and they need uh, help. And uh, also, uh, this one says, Happy birthday to David Thornton, 53 years old today from Fayette County. Uh, happy birthday to David. From Monticello, uh, Luther has called for Dole. Uh, Dole Davis's family said uh, the funeral will be tomorrow. Lucy from Leslie County is needing help. Frances is 88 years of age from Montgomery County and she has a lot of physical needs but says WLJC is her church and she watches every night. We appreciate that. Uh, from Laurel County, a lady cannot walk and she wants to be healed so she can walk again. And from Jackson County, unspoken request for uh, family members. And also, uh, we want to uh, remind you to uh, pray for Lonnie Levins. Uh, he is to have some heart procedures done, I believe, next week. And so he, he wants prayer and he needs prayer. So, uh, you know, there's not any of us that doesn't stand in the need of prayer, is there? Well, we want to pray and thank you for calling and thank you for believing that the Lord is who he says he is. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for who you are, who you are. We just thank you, Lord, because you are so real to each of us. We're all different, made up emotionally and mentally or but lord you love us all the same and you know how to deal with us and so we thank you for that it's for each one of these people lord we don't we don't uh, probably don't know any of these personally but you know each one of these they before they ever, ever came to this earth you knew them because their spirit was in heaven with you 
And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we claim the, the victories that they need. We join with them in asking for help. For these people that are having family problems, unsafe family members causing so much hurt and pain, we ask for that to be stopped and for them to be delivered from the, the habits and the things they're doing that's hurting the family. And Father, for every unsaved person, we plead the blood of Jesus. Don't let anyone die and be lost that ever joins us for these services. We ask you to bless our singers tonight, give them a safe journey home, and help them to continue to sing for you. And these beautiful young people that are working for you, pray that you will enable them to do more than they've ever done before. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're uh, once again, let me tell you who our guest was, the Good News Gospel Singers uh, from uh, down in the Knoxville area, and uh, their phone number is 865-494-7088, and they do have CDs for sale. If you'd like to talk to any of them about uh, their testimony or find out more about it, you know, they had some really definite testimonies that God had done something for them. And uh, he's, he's been with us, and we know it when, when we've had an encounter with the Lord. You don't forget that easy. You might meet a lot of people, and in a little while you can forget them. But not when the Lord touches you. You don't forget that. And that's why backsliders, I think, are so miserable. They've once known the presence of God. And and how great it was and then when they go from him well you know that's um, that's why they're so miserable well we we hope that all the the ones that that have let something come between them and God that they will really humble themselves be truthful to him uh, with him because you know you're not going to deceive the Lord be truthful with him and allow him to uh, Heal and restore you. Ask Him to forgive you for what you've done, that you've hurt yourself and others and your relationship with God. It doesn't matter if you are old, young, or middle-aged, or whatever you are. If you have sinned against God, you need to ask God to forgive you and to restore you back to His family. And I hope that you'll do that before your time is up. Well, our, our time is up for this TV program tonight. So from all of us here in the studio, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.